Hello and welcome to another episode of Marty's Matchbox Makeovers. Before I start, let me explain where I've been. I've been away two weeks working interstate and I haven't been able to uh, punch out any videos. And uh, whilst I was away, I was contacted by a person from Creality. They manufacture laser cutters and engravers. And they asked if I wanted one. Uh, well, it'd be stupid to say no, wouldn't I? Uh, the condition was, though, that I showed it to you uh, in the form of a video, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. And uh, hopefully, very soon, I should be back into the Matchbox cars. It's just that my life's a little bit up and down and everywhere at the moment, and I uh, haven't quite got back on schedule. So I'm really, really excited. It's the Falcon A1 Pro Laser Engraver and Cutter. Anyway, I'm going to unbox it, work out how it works. And then we'll have a go and I'll show you what it can do. There's a heck of a lot going on here, I can tell you. <laughs> Half the stuff I don't even know what it is. So there's a heck of a lot going on. It's going to take me a while to flick through that manual, speed read it, and work out how to put this thing together. But I'm going to do that now, and I'll get back to you. Uh, I've also got the job of cleaning up all the packaging <laughs> that came with it. A fair bit of packaging there. Uh, didn't want to film it all because you'd have fallen asleep. The amount of time I spent. Okay, so I'm going to assemble this now. And like I said, I'll be back in a minute. So this machine has an emergency stop button on the right hand side. And there's this area at the rear where all the attachments fit to the machine. This here is an air pump and it's on these rather groovy rubber feet to probably stop it wandering across the workbench whilst it's in operation. Runs super silent, by the way. Machine's been supplied to me today with a variety of materials. There's some medium thickness timber panels there, bamboo, I believe they are. Some felt sheets and some leather. So a lot to experiment with. Anyway, the first thing today for me is to fit this rather cool touchscreen miniature control panel. Just clicks into the ribbon connector there and sits on the side. In the book here, there is a number of optional extras, some of which have been provided. Like, I have the 2 watt infrared laser and the honeycomb mesh. Here's some details about the power usage and the weight of the machine and the fact that it has laser um, hazard associated with it. On the back here is an exhaust fan for when you are operating it. For example, whilst you're cutting timber, uh, some smoke is generated and the fumes will be extracted out of the extraction hose. The air inlet from the exhaust pump fits onto the side there very simply. Just press that rubber hose in. There's your power connector. Power for the air pump. A key lock to prevent unauthorized access from children, etc. And there again, on switch and the emergency off switch. Rotate it clockwise to disengage it. Instantly, the machine springs into life. It's a beautiful look, all those LED lights on the inside. Okay, so I've just powered it up and I've realized I'm going to need the internet to get this thing to work and there's no internet out here in my shed, so I'm moving it into my hobby room. All right, so I'm in the hobby room and I've made a bit of space for this machine. It's quite a large machine and quite heavy too. Um, yeah, I've got the exhaust going out of the window, which is a good thing. 
I'm powering it up and I've got to do an update and this thing looks really cool when you power it up there's all these LEDs on the inside so I'm setting the language and the Wi-Fi and the time which is plus 10 in Australia and I kind of dawns on me whilst this is updating I'm gonna to have to connect this to my computer to use it reading in the book here it's uh, become apparent I'm gonna to have to move it for a second time so I will do that after the updates finished okay so now it's set up uh, I've got to show you a project obviously to try and see if it works and uh, I've downloaded um, this plan for a phone holder so Creality gave me some samples of material to use, one of which is this product. Uh, they've thoughtfully included these QR cards with each product so that the machine can identify what material I'm using. Now under here there's a little camera, which is very useful for positioning uh, projects. If you hold the QR card under the camera, the machine reads the QR code and shows you what product I've picked and it's the Walnut Board Thickness 3mm. That's what the phone stand is going to be made of. The good news is the software is really easy to use. All you have to do is find an image online of something that you want to build, drag it onto the work mat on your screen and use the trace feature to create an outline and that's the outline that will be cut. So this is the first cut I've made with this machine and I'm using the 20 watt blue diode laser which is recommended for wood amongst other things. So I guess these bits probably just click in, but uh, I'm going the extra extra yard and just putting a little bit of PVA glue on there just to hold it together and uh, they actually work quite well mm, beautiful. So here's the finished phone stand it only took about five minutes to make and it actually quite practical I like it that much I made a second one <laughs> For my next project, I thought I'd treat my wife Julie to a personalised cutting board. So I downloaded online some images of, quite large images of sweet corn. And here you can see once again the engraving laser attachment in operation. And it's really fun to watch. And the engraving process is quite quick. Uh, the speed of this thing is quite amazing actually. It can go up to 600 millimetres a second which um, is quite amazing really and what a fantastic product look at that turned a plain old white cutting board into a thing of beauty and she loved it that much she stuck it up onto the, the tiles above the oven it looks pretty cool nice little kitchen ornament there anyway I was kind of um, excited and thought I'd try something different and we got this green marble cutting board like a cheese board I don't know what it's used for but it's rather plain and just green marble so jazzing it up with a couple of images the from clip art of a Greek goddess the bust of a Greek goddess and uh, a nice kind of period uh, pattern around the outside and uh, this thing was was beyond my expectations way beyond my expect expectations it came out looking absolutely fantastic and I consider myself an artist now and uh, it seems like there's nothing this machine can't do and it's so quick too obviously this is speeded up but it wasn't that long at all and uh, there's a piece of art 
being created right before your eyes. And I'm really sort of getting the hang of this now and uh, th just thinking outside the box. What else can this thing do? Amazing. Well, now that it's calibrated and uh, I've given it a little test run with the wood panels, I thought I might try the metal cutting laser head and I found this little pocket knife I've had for God knows how many years. I thought I might put my name on it for a bit of fun and test the machine. So this is the infrared laser, uh, 2 watts, part number LM008. And this is the head that cuts metal or engraves metal, I believe. So I've got to swap this one out that's for the wood and put that one in its place. Once you've done it a few times, swapping the lasers is easy. It's a three step process and takes mere seconds to do. Oh, never been used. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that's a, there's a guy, there's a rail there that slots in here. Okay, so I've changed the laser head and I must admit it's my first time and it took me more than five minutes, but I'm sure there's a knack to it, but I just haven't got it yet. Anyway, before I engrave the knife, I've got a scrap piece of metal here. I'm gonna test it on here first, just uh, as a practice run, and then I'll do the knife afterwards. So this is the two watt infrared laser used for engraving metal. I actually did two knives I did the first one, the small stainless steel one, and I had a, a Leatherman also that I did. I'll just show you the Leatherman. Fortunately, I didn't get footage of the other one, but um, they both turned out pretty good, uh, way beyond my expectations. So another um, option of uh, personalizing something, like you could give them away as gifts, really, at Christmas or birthdays etc. Here's another thing I did, I bought these 3 mil brass um, coins, they come in a nice little plastic container, got a milled edge on there, and um, I did a, one of these, uh, a challenge coin sort of thing, safely making aircraft dangerous, and the quality of the the engraving is par none it's just that I've got it a little bit off center and uh, I'll probably get better at it as I go mm. so I've been using the Falcon A1 Pro by Creality the laser cutting machine for about a week now uh, the software that is included with the machine you download it offline is very easy to get along with. It's similar to Photoshop, uh, PaintShop Pro, those other kind of graphical uh, creative programs that you may have dabbled with in the past. And it's quite easy to pick up. It's got a lot of similarities. And I'm going to show you now sort of a, a small project that I've undertaken to try and showcase what you can do with this machine if you put your mind to it. So I've made myself uh, a little thing here, I'm going to assemble it and I'm going to show you what it looks like when I've finished. Uh, might give you some ideas as to gifts that you might be able to make for Christmas or special occasions such as sporting events or awards or something like that. <clears throat> so this is a MMM themed, that's Marty's Matchbox Makeovers my YouTube channel uh, themed just novelty uh, shield fake award that kind of thing and it's made up of several components so I'll show you them all now there's these little flourishes that uh, painted silver they look good there's a small map of Australia with 
Tasmania. There's a Marty's Matchbox Makeover's background. Now this here is two shields, slightly undersized, and this one's got a keyhole in it to hang it on the wall. And this one has got a hole cut in it. Uh, that's where the head of the screw is going to go. Sort of like this. Uh, something good idea. My son came up with that, Matthew. Uh, thank you, Matthew. And uh, it's got a logo that's going to go on there, which is going to cover that hole. And these other bits and pieces. I've got a YouTube button here made up of a couple of pieces. So I'm going to glue it together now and we'll have a look at the final result. So whilst I'm assembling this uh, little shield that I've made, I might as well mention some of the features of this just in case I haven't mentioned them before. It's got the, the dual laser modules, the 20 watt blue diode and the 2 watt infrared. So the, the blue one is for wood, opaque acrylic, leather, felt, rubber, glass, ceramic and slate etc. The infrared uh, 2 watt laser is for all metals and uh, especially stainless steel, gold, silver, brass and iron and in this case I used it to engrave some marble. The laser head has an instant auto focus so there's no manual adjustments needed and you can actually monitor the cutting process real time on your phone if you're away from home and uh, just to set your mind at rest it has a dual flame detection uh, function that uh, will shut it down if it detects anything untoward i.e. catching fire so it's very safe smart camera with a real-time preview which uh, I've once as I showed before makes it really easy for precise alignment of text for example on an object and of course all the accessories that you can get like there is one for engraving cylindrical uh, artifacts like drinks bottles or whatever um, I might have to get one of those and give that a go because I can see an opportunity there for I mean you could sell customized drink bottles for sporting uh, groups for example something like that so you could actually pay for itself this kind of thing because the sky's the limit as to what you can do with it So anyway, if you're interested in more information, please check out the website. It is listed in the description below. I've included a link to the Creality Falcon official store as well. So you could check out some of the other accessories that I haven't shown in this video. Oh, this looks so good, I'm going to put it on display in the hobby room. I've got the perfect spot, okay, right here. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it. That's the Falcon A1 Pro laser engraving machine by Creality. And I hope you found this presentation interesting and informative. And believe you me, I've only just scratched the surface. I've only had it a week and I've achieved so much and I can't wait to see what the future holds. And um, I'd highly recommend you go to their website and check it out because uh, it's a good thing to have if you're a hobbyist like me. So until next time, this is Marty from Marty's Matchbox Makeovers saying, Goodbye and thanks for watching.